Tonight on the Mac to the Future livecast go, there was an Apple event yesterday. Uh, Apple Watch, new iPads, Apple One bundle. Uh, David and Warren want to try and claim I was wrong about iOS being released under the new phone. But little did they knew, I knew all along, but was under an NDA. And of course, the entire Mac line was replaced overnight with A14 silicon-based processors, or, you know, they weren't. All of that tonight and more and more on the Mac to the Future livecast. Go. And good evening, everyone. We are so very, very happy that you are here with us tonight on the Mac to the Future Live Casco. We just had a huge event yesterday that probably wasn't nearly as huge as what some people wanted it to be. But um, yeah, it was it was stuff. And uh, I've got some people here with me. I do. There are people here. I'm uh, going to start tonight with uh, Mr. Dave Ginsburg. How are you there, Mr. Dave Ginsburg? I'm doing great, Mr. Guy Searle. It's, uh, oh, what happened to your here. camera? It looks like it's getting out of focus a little bit. Is it? I may have to yeah. lights up here. Yeah, but I'm doing well. Um, it was an exciting event yesterday, and uh, looking forward to uh, discussing all this with you. It, how exciting did you think that event was? I thought it was. I actually liked it. I, I was. I was. <laughs> um, if I keep turning the lights up here, I was. Uh, I was actually. Um, as I'm trying to mess around with these lights here, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I was, uh, I was because this is the pleased, time to do that. Yeah, yeah, I was pleasantly pleased <laughs> to, to have the that the the, uh, that the event was uh, it was it was concise to the snappy. Point. It was snappy. snappy. There was you know all those times we we sit through those Apple events and you have all these uh, these all these um, developers that come out and talk and then you say oh god I guess I listen to this guy. I mean, everything was just right, boom, 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 and you found out everything they wanted to know, and uh, it's a, and I, I actually rewatched it today, and uh, yeah, it was, it was just a very. Well it was produced. like a, just under an hour. Yeah, it was. It, it was. Yeah, it was amazing. Hour. Yeah. All right, and we also have Mr. Warren Sklar. Hello there, Mr. Warren Sklar. How are you doing? And I thought the event was meh. I'm going meh on that one. You're going, going meh on that? Yeah, I, I felt a little <laughs> underwhelmed. I, I, I kind of did too, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. So, yeah. And if, uh, if you'd like to make some comments, everyone just follow the directions there that are on the bottom, the directions on the bottom of the screen. It's, it's right down there. None of it is clickable. So don't try can't, clicking on it. Can't click those links. I've tried. Can't it's click those links, but it's pretty okay. easy. Streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. And that's really, that's all you got to do. And then, Hit the OK button and you'll be able to do some comments. So yay Sm on comments. Smash that OK button. <laughs> Smash that OK button. Hit that notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun show. I can tell already. Dollar, you got the dollar tip. I do. I do. Yeah. And um, so I'm, I'm delighted and we're just going to. Actually, we already have a comment. Did somebody make a comment already? Let me see. Hello there, Mr. Comment. That was from Marcus. Yes. Uh, those were just the mics he tested before the stream. Uh, right. I have no idea what you're talking about, Marcus. There were no microphones. There are no microphones other than this one right here. Um, a microphone and a turntable. So we're, we're, we're basically just going to talk about the, the, the Apple event. Um, I think that's a good idea. Got some good quick takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was not aware of this first one. Uh, David did all the show notes, so he is to to thank or blame, depending on how well the show goes. Uh, he's according to Dave <clears throat> Barclays and Mac and, and Mac Rumors. Uh, Barclays and Apple part ways and discontinue the Apple Rewards Visa. Uh, Apple will focus on the Apple Card with financing options one and two years on Apple products. So does this mean that we no longer get our two and three and all that other happy stuff percent back, or is that separate no, from Barclays, that, no, the Barclays the Apple, deal? 
Barclays was a completely separate deal. I had the card and I had it for years. I mean, I, I did a lot of financing with Apple products on it. And um, it uh, you would end up getting like Apple uh, gift cards. You know, the, you spent so much mm -hmm. money and then I would get, I mean, that's how I bought my um, my uh, Magic Keyboard. I had a hundred bucks I had saved up for, for, uh, for Apple Rewards. A so rainy day. For a rainy day. And and didn't have to spend, it, it didn't sting as much when I used that, those hundred, that hundred bucks. So, uh, but they were they were a partner with Apple for quite a long time. It was it was had to been at least yeah. five or ten years. So sure. Well, uh, I remember when I bought uh, it was one of the Macs I bought. That was it was done through Barclays. Right. That was they were like the ones that did all the financing. And they were a little more aggressive with the with the finance options. Um, you could go I think up to two years on some sometimes or two without interest. Years. Yeah, without interest. Um, so Apple actually interesting what they'll do with the with the financing on the Apple card. They're they're gonna um. The, uh, the Apple Watch, you're going to be able to finance it for two years. So you get a $600 watch. You only have to pay, like, you know, a small amount each month, uh, and which I was very surprised on the Apple Watch. Uh, but they are offering the, the finance options on Mac and, and iPhone, iPad, uh, iPhone. Uh, so uh, it's something I might even look at because I do the – I have been doing the Apple uh, upgrade plan, and you know, mm -hmm. I can trade the phone in after a year. Uh, but the problem is I'm in it now, so if I wanted to do it, I'd have to pay this phone off and then sell it. If I wanted to start using the Apple Card as financing for the next uh, the next device, so. Well, you got Tesla money. Oh wait, no, 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 that's no, Warren. That's Warren. <laughs> that is me. That I'm is you. That's picking Warren. it up tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Nice, nice. Yes. And I'm still okay. driving a Kia. So, uh, the See browser you. now yeah. defaults. No, it's that's a quick. It's a quick Kia. It's so fast. See ya. Uh, browser, browser defaults in iOS 14. You can now set Chrome and DuckDuckGo as your default instead of Safari and uh, Google. Google Search. Uh, DuckDuckGo yeah. was at, was just added today. So if you've updated your phone to iOS 14, then you can now set your own default apps in some cases. Um. Safari 14? Oh, and Warren, weren't you saying something about there was some kind of issue with Chrome? Yeah, well... Or was that on the Mac? With Mac. Yeah, with the Mac, with Edge. Um, it 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 breaks it. On two of my laptops, at least, it, it breaks it. I have to, like, kind of... It breaks <laughs> Edge or Safari gets broken? Oh, wait. You're, on, you're on Big Sur, though, aren't you? No, no, this is on my Catalina uh, machine. So, um, so it breaks yeah, it, what it, does it do? You open it up and you can't get to any web page even after you reinstall it. So uh, there's a cache you have to remove somehow. I I don't remember, but I run uh, I ran clean my Mac and that seems to fix it. So there's something that kind of it does. But supposedly uh, the 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 Safari update updates you to. It's not just an update; it's the next version, Safari 14, which is supposed right. to. Be, uh, oh, that's going to be in Big Sur. Yeah. Yep. So it's basically uh, the same, the same one. And it does a few tricks. I think the big trick was if I write 4K video and Netflix was a big one, I think. Right? Pretty yeah. sure that was it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I just, I saw it. I, I had, I was working all day today at the office. So I wasn't able to do, as a matter of fact, my, um, my iPad is updating right now because I, I, you know, I didn't have access to Wi-Fi where I work, so I had to wait till I got home. So my phone is updated, and it's around here someplace. Uh, I'll update my, I'll set my watch to update before I go to bed tonight. Yep. Just did that. And, Just did that today. Yep, I did. Yeah, I did mine too. We'll talk more about the updates, but yeah. So it's basically the same as the beta. The the, the numbers are the same, but um, you know, I like to redo it um when the when the uh, uh real version comes out over the beta you could download the uh if you go on developer site under release software you could download the ipsw files hook them up to your mac and uh hit option while you click on check for update pick the file that you downloaded and just kind of overwrites it just to make well, it what's easy. what's the difference between the gold master and, and the final release product is there any but, real difference Sometimes there's, sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. Um, the number, the um, the identifier of the mm -hmm. uh, thing was the same this time, so I'm guessing it's the same. It's the same um, at this point. But basically, 
the, the fact that, well, two things, the fact that it was only a day between a gold master and today doesn't give developers or Apple enough time to really change anything. Make any big changes. Yeah. So when it's in previous years, it has changed. But then when the big delay came out today, when it was supposed to come out at one o'clock and, and it came out more like four, then I'm like, well, maybe they are, they found something because that's happened too, where they find something in the last minute and then they, they have to fix it. And they say, so, no. Yeah. I think they did that with the watch once it was bricking the, the official one came out yeah. and they, it started bricking watches and they kind of got rid of that uh, update right away. Um, or phones, it was bricking something. So yeah, I mean, base, but basically, you know, the, the gold master is supposed to come out with enough time for developers to, you know, get everything final. And the developers are claiming they're not so happy with uh, with that, uh, the fact that it came out the day after the, the gold uh, master. master. Yeah. So maybe that delay was just to give them a few more hours. I don't, that, that was a weird delay. It was supposed to come out, you know, a couple hours earlier. So it was an epic delay. It was epic. Okay. Um, you just kind of moved to the main story because that's what that was. What oh, was actually, no, 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 no. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. Uh, some of the things with Safari 14 is a new tab bar design that shows more tabs on screen and displays favicons by default. Uh, customizable start page allows you to set a background image and add new sections. Privacy report shows cross site trackers that are being blocked by intelligent tracking prevention and remove support for Adobe Flash for increased Woo! and improved security. Is anyone still running Flash I would on your not. Mac? If you are, please stop watching this program. Thank you. <laughs> right. I'll leave Flash alone. <laughs> what? Yeah. What Flash ever did to you? Actually, uh, hold on, hold on just a second. My my son is sending me a message asking if I am okay. Um, yes, it was a mistake. I accidentally set out an emergency notification, and the only way I knew it, because just before we started the program, I'm using this. I'm using uh, Camo for on my iPhone for my camera tonight, and frankly, it looks great. But in the process of doing all of that somehow I triggered emergency notifications. And the only reason why I knew it was I'd gone upstairs just before we started the record. And my wife was like, did you know that your phone is putting out that you're in some kind of emergency? <laughs> it's like, what, what, what? So I went running down stuff thinking, Oh God, the cops are going to come. Oh God. But instead what it basically did was it sent a notification to my, my wife and my two sons uh, to let them know that, um, apparently I am in some kind of distress and all things considered, I guess I kind of was, cause I was like, Oh no. And now my son is going careful, old man, careful. <laughs> so I guess he, he's thinking, you know, the next time this happens, it'll be like, Oh, it's just dad. And he's making a mistake again. In the meantime, I'm laying laid out on the floor going. <laughs> so that's my life. Um, Getting on to the main stories, uh, there was an Apple event yesterday. There were quite a few announcements, and someone, I'm not sure who, someone was wrong. So it was uh, me. No, it wasn't me. Yeah, no, they, they released iOS 14. And I have to admit, I am surprised that they released iOS 14 without there being a phone. That that was stunning, but uh, they also released oh, iPads, uh, iPad OS fourteen, Watch OS seven, TV OS fourteen. Uh, it made total sense that there were new iPads and Apple Watch, and somebody, somebody, someone, someone thought it would be released next year. Uh, Apple did make developers a set as they gave them no time to get their apps ready, as the GM Golden Master was released less than 24 hours before iOS 14 was released to the public. Though they did delay it for a little bit, because I know when I was at yeah. work, uh, I tried to, you know, I went to see if there were any updates for the phone, and and there was not. 13.7 was the latest one. So they did they did delay it for some reason for just a little while. Um, I'm guessing the two of you have done all of your updates, yep. including yeah. the watch. Mor uh, yep. Warren, of course, he's been on it since day one. Yes. Sure. So, well, yeah. 
Let, let's the start. Well, then let's start with Warren. Warren, what did you update, and uh, how are you liking it? Is there any real difference from the betas? Um, well, the first comment is uh, the the um, on the the fact that you were wrong. Mostly, yeah, of, course. Because of, <laughs> of course, I was. Mostly, it's because of the watch. Um, because the watch, the, uh, even though the phone was delayed. Apple had to make a decision or they can delay the watch and, and the iPads as well if they didn't have to. So the fact that they released that, you can't release the watches. Um, you can't run uh, the watch. The new know, version of the watch OS without the, with the iPhone being updated. So, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's probably what it was. So anyways, I had the betas on everything. I got I had the betas, and then yesterday the Gold Masters came out for the iPhone, iPad, and the watch, which I did uh, yesterday. And then today when it came out, I um, you could download the files, the, uh, the, the IPSW files, and I just kind of overwrite them with the final version just to make sure it's all kind of the same. Now, where are you think, downloading these to? To your Mac and then just mm-hmm. connecting yeah. directly? Yeah, if you go to the uh, developer website um, yeah. where, you, where you get your betas, um, not the public beta, but the developer beta, there's yeah. two little tabs. One on the left says uh, beta, and if you look really closely on the right, it says uh, release software or release. If you click on release, you can download any release software uh, that's out there. Um, and and the restore images for that, including so, old versions of the Mac OS. It yeah, um, not old ones. Not old ones. Current the release the current version of the, the current release, release version. Okay, so that sucks. Yeah, I and, was kind of hoping it was older versions. No, so and then, from the App Store. Yeah, okay. well, well, I'm not sure about the Mac. I got to check. I'm not sure if the Mac opens up the App Store or not. I think it does, but yeah, certainly. Okay. Yeah, certainly the iOS um, and the iPad OS is uh, you can download the restore images as well. Um, so yeah, I do that. Just kind of plug it in. If you hold down uh, when it comes up in the uh, Finder, if you hold down Option and say Check for Update, it will ask you to pick that file that you downloaded. You pick that uh, and you just let it fly, and basically it looks exactly the same as it did before. Uh, everything you know, it's just kind of an overwriting of the the newest version of the. Uh, of the phone. Um, and that's actually not a bad idea to do once in a while too. If your phone's running funky, you probably kind of, get rid of, get rid of some of the cruft. That up over it's, time. it's kind of overwrites the, the core operating system to, 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 to the device. It's kind of the same as running the uh, Catalina installer again mm-hmm. over your, your Mac. It doesn't over, it doesn't, if you do that on windows, you're done for. So if you, if you, in windows, if, <laughs> yeah. if you, if you do that, then you, you boot up, it says it keeps everything, but nothing works because the registry doesn't work. But on Apple devices, it's, uh, it's good. It works fine. Okay. What about you, Dave? Did you, have you updated everything? I sure have. Um, I did the, I did not put any beta software on my daily driver devices on my iPad or my iPhone. Um, I my did iPhone. on the iPad, but I, I didn't on the phone or the watch. Yeah, for for that matter. So, um, so last night, as soon as uh, I, you know, I went and looked at the developer site, and it still said beta eight. I'm like, okay, you guys just announced that it's going to be released tomorrow. How can it be beta eight? Then an hour later, then Martin, and Warren made but let me know. I was like, oh, and that, it says GM now. I was like, oh, oh, okay. So apparently, they just did it an hour later. Um, so I just went ahead and downloaded them on my iPad and my iPhone. The watch I left be until today, um, and then it, it actually came down like around four o'clock uh, Central Time. Um, I was able to finally do it over you know, OTA uh, install of it, that one. So yeah, everything's up to date and current, and got lots of playing to do and lots of uh, uh, getting used to what's up, and I'll just be doing a lot of uh, training on it too. So yeah, well, you guys will be talking probably in more in depth on uh, your podcast tomorrow night. Absolutely. Got- well, have, has there been has there been any yeah in touch with iOS? You can find out more information at in touch with iOS dot com. Yeah, and Adam Adam Christensen will be joining us. So. Yes, uh, good old AC. Tell him I said yo, yo. Um, any any issues or problems? So far, none for me. Okay, it's, I. It's okay. Good. Yeah, I I haven't run into even even on the the earlier betas, which I was just running on the iPad. I wasn't having any issues with it. It was it was fine. If oh, you yeah, noticed, I also, I also updated the TVOS. I went to 
my Apple TV and took care of oh, it. I, I, I would have to dust mine off. Um, with the uh, <laughs> a, a little um, a little trick though, uh, definitely go to the App Store, go to the uh, App Store and do your updates for all your apps uh, if you haven't done that because. Uh, if you, what I noticed, so I, I knew that this was about to drop. Uh, I, I had, I thought they were going to release the Gold Master yesterday um, after the uh, keynote, and then next week it would be the uh, the, the release. Just by the fact of, uh, if you look in the App Store, like four times or five times the amount of apps were updating as normal. Yeah, so I did it, notice I had like 16 <clears throat> to 20 apps that were all asking for updates. So they knew, So some of them knew somehow that this was happening because they were, sure there they was were a rush. On our yeah. Or something. yeah, there, there, there was a rush of, you know, a few days before that, uh, that they were doing, which makes me like a little, I'm not sure why the developers are complaining that they only had the one day because some knew and some didn't, you know, because basically the, the people that didn't, well, probably, didn't know. probably the, the bigger developers most Maybe, likely but, knew. But even some of the smaller ones were updating too. But even if it's the bigger developers, how do they find out and others don't? I guess it's a question. Little little birdie told him. I guess so. Over there, a little birdie that has a nest at one infinite loop. <laughs> Cupertino. Yeah. Um, there and there was there were some other things that happened at the event yesterday. Whoa, your lighting just went all funky. Yeah, it just went off there. That's all right. Nobody's okay. looking at us. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, good. Good. And I'm <laughs> glad no one's watching. Um, there was the new, there were actually two, two new Apple Watches that were released, the uh, Apple Watch Series 6. Uh, I Was there an update on the processor with that one? Yes. It's got a okay, new one so, chip, yeah. So it's yeah. a faster, faster processor. 20% um, faster than the 5. So of myself. course. Well, of course. Uh, there's a blood oxygen monitoring was added. There were some new colors. Uh, I think, um, uh, Ed Eisen was just saying, yeah, he was just he saying he got, he got the blue one. There's a red um, and blue one too. Yeah. So I kind of like that blue. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second when we get to the other devices that were released. Uh, I guess the, um, the, the big news though, was that in a fit of originality, Apple called their mid range watch, the, Apple Watch SE. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say that's a bold, bold move on the part of Apple to make that to make that name change. Uh, th but the thing that actually sort of surprised me was that they kept the Apple Watch Three around I as the low end too. watch. Yeah, I was surprised too. There, yeah, I didn't move it up to the after, four. It's got to go after the um, the Fitbit market because you know, for a first time, it. yeah, for a first time Apple Watch user. Uh, but you're talking, you're going from 199 to 279 on the Apple Watch SE. So, um, mm -hmm. so I think that's where they thought in the market. I knew they wouldn't. I mean, there was speculation maybe that they would bring back the uh, the Series Four, uh, but why? Why would they want to do that? I mean, they don't. They're already competing against each other with the SE and the, and the Series Six. So yeah, so well, it, it, it only made sense to leave the three the way it was. But the four, the four is the SE. Really, I think it actually it might actually be the exact same thing. Yeah. With uh, with, I think it doesn't. Did the four have the uh, EKG? Yes. I'm pretty sure it did. So the four is the same. I think basically they just replaced the crown on the on the four, not to have the EKG sensor on it. Well, um, unless unless you already have an Apple Watch four or five, um, I think that. The, the the watch to get for most people would be the SE the SE model. No, no, get six. I'm, I'm I'm tempted. I'm tempted now. Well, I still have the Series Four. I never upgraded to the five, so go from the four. Well, if you have a four, why would you go to the SE if it's no, roughly the, the same one? Oh, you'll go to the six. Yeah, I mean, no, I've got the five now. I picked up the five yeah. last five year. Yeah. I have the five, and I... I'm not. I'm not going to update. I'm not going to update. Uh, I am not. I'm saying it now. Unless it falls into my lap, I'm not updating it either. Um, I think we've got to hold them to that, just like we held you held you about. The, uh, yeah. Marcus says I'm, Series Four does not have EKG. ECG. Yes, it does. I, I'm pretty I do sure it, all it does. The time. Yeah, yeah, it does. I think they started in the four, and then the five came uh, right. after yeah. that. Yeah, it it has it. Yeah. Um, but and Wang is sharing. Wang, he's sharing he's his sh Wang. 
he's, he's a sharing wing. <laughs> Thank but, you, wing. But yeah, it, it, it's a good update. I mean, if you're looking to buy a watch, yeah, definitely get to six, I think, if, def, if that's what you want. For me, I don't care about the color, and I definitely don't care about the blood oxygen thing. You know, the 20% faster would be nice, but I don't notice it's not slow at this point, so it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. I, I do like the blood action, oxygen uh, monitoring because, you know, it's my health uh, that I, I'm dealing with. I think it'd be nice to be able to know, you know, where I'm at with that. So and the ECG is nice, too. So I, it's got some um, it's got some uh, some interesting things uh, that go along with that. Uh, and uh, also the bands that they got those solo bands now, which you actually have to measure your wrist by putting, I think it's yeah. a piece of paper or something to because it's, you know, it's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's a solo band instead of having the. You know the 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 the, the wrapper. Well, like doesn't this. it doesn't it doesn't it just stretch a little bit? It yeah, does, but, but you, you don't want to measure. It. You, you want to get them at the right size, and then they have they have sizings. I think from like six or seven to twelve. I think it is. So we we could all compare wrist sizes. Coming yeah, up. Exactly. So, but they, they came out with it uh, with a with with the, uh, the what do you call it the silicon uh, solo band, and then they have the. The woven, yeah, the, the woven, woven yeah. one, like like this. I, really one. Like I, I kind of liked, uh, yeah. That woven one looks that looks I, pretty. I like light. that woven one. Yeah, that's. I uh, the woven one too. I don't like those. So I never liked those sport ones. No, but yeah. The well, woven... this is this is the one that I've got. I don't know how well you can see that. It's it, what do they call this one? Yeah, that's a third party. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, but it's. I really like it. It it's this comfortable. Is... I'm able to adjust it very nicely. This is the actual Apple Black Link bracelet one the 450 dollar one seriously oh the the milanese uh, no the 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 um the band the itself was 400 the, the 450 one yeah the band itself was 450 dollars yeah except i got it used for 200 something but it was still still cool so um Marcus. Ooh, <laughs> yeah okay yeah, uh, i don't think that's even worth repeating <laughs> yeah, yeah. Moving, moving on from that, uh, though, I could spend hours talking about those. Um, there were there was an update to the uh, the iPad. Two updates to iPads, really. The uh, oh, yeah. eighth um, gen ten point two. Just, just make sure yeah. we, may, we want to mention to the family setup they added on the SE to allow for multiple watches to be paired to just one iPad. Oh right. <clears throat> yeah. So like yeah. if you have a if you have a but the but but the key with that one is you got to get the you have to have the watch with cellular because it's not going to communicate. So that was the only the only uh, caveat with family setup uh, because I have to have do not have cellular on on my watch. No Since I always have my phone, I just I don't see the point. Well, which is weird I, because yeah. because you want cellular on your iPad. Yes. That's well, I use my iPad with online services a lot. But you always have so, your phone. But you always have your phone and your iPad just could, your phone I, I can't I can't play SimCity on my phone. It's got to be on the iPad. You hotspot your, your iPad hotspot. to the hot, to the phone. You yeah. use your iPad. Huh? I have I have a an, I'm grandfathered in with a particular carrier for unlimited data. <laughs> which but if you go beyond a certain amount you start to get strapped down so i try not to push it too hard on the phone throttling or on the ipad i mean so anyway yeah. moving yeah. on yeah. from that so I, I just want to make sure we talked about that yeah so ipad eighth gen 10.2 uh works with the pencil and the keyboard uh keyboard the the magic keyboard starts and this is this is like an unbelievable oh, price. It, it it works with those regular logic. Oh no, that was the air. The air works with the magic right. keyboard. Mm -hmm. Uh but it's 329, but it will work with the smart keyboard that Apple has. Mm. I, it's yeah. yeah. It, it does work with the smart, not the magic. There's not the magic. The it's got I'm sorry. it's got the little dots. It's got the little dots yeah. on the side. The yeah. smart so the that starts keyboard. at 329. Uh the only limitation is you can only go as far as what 256 for storage. I think it was 128. Or is it 128? It was 32 yeah, is a minimum and 128 is a Starts there's two models. Okay, yeah. yeah, it was the it was the air that goes up to 250. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so but considering what how most people would use something like an iPad, whether you have a 30, I wouldn't get the 32, but the um a, a 128 gig internal storage iPad with iCloud support, I think would meet the needs of really almost 
everyone out there. And this is a very, very powerful, as far as iPads go, this is a very powerful iPad. Um, well, they're shooting, they're shooting for the, the kids. It's, it's, this is for, don't everything. shoot at children. <laughs> they're shooting the kids. <laughs> don't think of the don't children. Think, think of the children. children. I'm thinking of the children. Never mind. Their, Never mind. Their target um, audience is students. Oh, is yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> then you have the uh, iPad Air 10.9, and this is now. Does the current Pro have the A14, or is the Air the first one with the A14? Air is the first. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't. Oh, it's, I don't get that. The 2020 iPad Pro has the a12 and i don't know when they're going to update the ipad pro but the ipad air which is the lower model is the one that has the hottest chip in it right now and i i really don't understand that however on the plus side well that's a plus as well but it also has USB C and shades of samsung touch id in the power button as compared well samsung had it on the back but um they're still giving you the option if if you're if you're like really really into uh, touch ID and, and having or not touch not touch is it touch ID in the power button or is it just yes. oh, the home yeah. button? Yep. How did no. they get touch ID in the power button? Yeah, they they talked about it during the event and and they 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 actually I have a I have a picture of that shows the it actually shows the um, the the yeah, breakout the layers of, of the layers oh, really. And, and I, I'm I'm curious to see how it works. I agree with you because you know, think about it. You take an iPad and you're and you're, you're touching the power button. How how is it going to pick up your finger? And no and, idea. Because just it's, we're so used to the old Touch ID with the home button. Where yeah. It would, it would have it would touch pretty much your entire finger, uh, but there's the technology obviously must work. Um, so. So well, this basically means that if if you're a fan of the the big home button, there's only two iPads left that will support you. That's the uh, iPad eighth gen and the iPads currently the iPad mini, mini are the only two iPads that still have Touch ID and the home button there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, iPad Air has it in uh, on the power button, and I don't believe either the 2018 or the 2020 iPad Pro has it at all. It's all, no. face ID. It's all yeah. face ID, which, you know, cause I picked up that 2018 iPad myself and I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised at how well face ID works, whether I'm wearing glasses uh, with this big bushy beard. Huh? I'm sorry. You have the 11 inch, right? No, I got the 12.9. 12 12.9. 12 yeah. yeah. I got the 11 inch. Yeah, yeah, we both. Dave and I have the 11. Yeah. So so to get back to this, the iPad Air that just came out is basically the 11-inch iPad Pro of 2018 to yeah. slash 2020. With without, a better chip. With a better chip. Better processor. Without the In better USB -C. chip. In USB-C. Well, no, we have USB-C too. USB -C, USB -C. Uh, okay. So, okay. It doesn't have Face ID, which to me is not a big deal, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, it has that thing on the side. And it doesn't have the LiDAR in the new 2020. And it's got the faster chip, but everything else is exactly the same. I, as far as I, I, same. I honestly think this, this iPad Air is a steal. The first, you know, oh, I would, have, 90, I would have gotten this. Yeah, I would have gotten totally. this compared to the, the Pro. Totally. The um, so, it, it has a th so it does have uh, the... On the back of these um, iPad Pros and the iPad Airs are the magnets on the back, which you could put it on the Magic Keyboard. That's how it kind of works. Um, I, it calls it a 10.9, but I think it's the same exact size as the 11-inch Pro. More cool. or less, yeah. It's probably just the only real difference as far as not so much the screen size, but the overall size of the device with bezels is probably Maybe. the same. It's got a little more bezels, yeah. But you know, you know, they're they're gonna update the pro. Um, I mean, I, I don't think they're gonna give up in the new pro. Not this year. They won't do it this year. No, no. If they do a not. chip, they might just be a do a chip bump. I mean, they could. Right. But... You you and I and Dave are not gonna see any difference in performance between this one and, and the pros we have. I mean, that you no. know, it's not gonna make a difference. Uh, well, are you both? Well, I thought you guys bumped up to the twenty. 
No. You're still on the 18s? We are the 18s, yeah. Okay, okay. So all three of us are on the 18s. That surprises yeah. me. So um, I mean, there's no... Right now, on my 11-inch Pro, there's no iPad out there that I'd rather have, you know, that, that I need to feel like I have to have um, that's out, with the exception of maybe the bigger version that you have here and there sometimes, but not always. So, you know, it's good. I mean, it's, it's if you're looking... It's it's definitely gonna take sales away from the pro model. I, oh, I think I don't I don't think they care as long as as long as people are up. I think that the the air is to try to entice people to have older pros like I like I did, or uh, older older iPads that want to make a, a reasonably good jump to something new, and I think the air will will meet that market very well. And it keeps every and it keeps everybody in the Apple ecosystem. They should actually just call this one a pro. They should call this one a, a pro, and have you know two versions of the pro: one with Face ID and one without. Well, and yeah, I think also, that would confuse the market. Also, but, add uh, that the Air has a variety of colors. You only have like two colors right. in, the, in the pros. Yeah, you know, I was going to talk about that, that blue. Gold, that blue, you know. Yeah. Do you remember when they came out with the phone last year? And you have the green phone, right? Green, Don't right. you, David? Yeah, so do I. Okay, that is such a beautiful color on the I like phone. I do. And yeah, I when I saw the blue, well, yeah, you put a case on it, and who who can tell the difference anyway? When I saw the the blue for the iPad Air, it kind of gave me that same vibe. And I know it's 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 completely useless as far as specs go, but the, the way something looks and the way it makes you feel when you see it has something to do with how you'll interact with that machine. And I think that that, that sky blue that they have for the iPad air just looks amazing. I think it's beautiful, yeah. beautiful I, color. I, I agree. Um, now they did announce a new service fitness plus to compete against Pelotron and its workout service. Nine ninety nine per month, seventy nine ninety nine a year, coming in uh, later on in the fall. Three months free with an Apple Watch purchase. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's what twenty. It's like thirty bucks you would get off on the watch if you if you use right, the Fitness it's, Plus. It's nine ninety nine a month or seventy nine ninety nine for the year. Yeah. Well, we'll see what the um. Oh, Ed has a moment, has something here. Uh, we'll see what fitness plus brings to the table once people are able to to use it i'll i'll certainly check it out and, and i'll check it out because of what we're going to talk about in, in just a second yeah, um it's, it's the big support part of it, it it's it, it's a service i mean people are now going to be able to do a yeah. workout i mean peloton peloton's shaking in their boots if anybody didn't watch this the peloton stock as soon as that fitness plus got announced you know the, 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 their stock was like this and then it just took a nosedive because people were really in the stock market because they're thinking, Oh, this might be a big co competition because you well, don't and, have to buy and, any hardware. You don't have to buy, well, you know, spend three, four grand for a, for, for a bike, which is pretty expensive. Yeah. yeah but you, remember you, as well that your watch and your phone will connect to certain exercise equipment. Uh -huh. So, right. and that exercise equipment that is likely to be much less expensive than anything you'll get from Peloton. So if depending on and I and I'm I'm gonna guess here that we're gonna see product announcements tied into Fitness Plus from other companies other than Peloton to kind of break into that market because Apple is taking care of the the workout part of it and all the manufacturers have to do is compete on price and performance on exercise equipment. Well, I mean, I so think yeah, if I was Peloton, I would be, I would be worried too. Peloton should be worried because uh, it's, uh, it, I mean, they were showing it. They're showing it during the during the event. You know, you, people just set their iPhone. Even they're going to into a gym. They're they're on a treadmill. They're on they're on any of their different devices. They've got those videos just like Peloton does, and mm -hmm. they can they can work do workouts, and that's part of the Fitness Plus service. Is, you know, all these. Well, are they going to have live them. instructors as well? Because that's something well, that Peloton Peloton. Yeah, That's at well Peloton does that. I don't know if this service does, but at the same time, if you're talking about a significant savings in the thousands of dollars plus membership, because you have to pay for the Peloton membership as well, then 
will people care if it's a pre-recorded workout versus something live? I don't think so. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Right. Uh, the last thing that they talked about was the, I guess it was kind of the, the one more thing for the, for the event, though. I don't think it really came as well, much of a we're, surprise we're to anyone. Order. It, it got announced kind of midway through the, the announcements. Did it? Okay. Okay. Well, it was the one thing that I don't think, was like a, a a big topic of conversation i think most people were talking about the watch people were talking about the ipad the speculation on whether or not they would announce the first mac with silicon silicone um but the apple one bundle that's something that we've all talked about quite a bit uh not so much in this particular format but that they should bundle some of their services i know gaz and i have talked about it over at the mymac.com podcast and the weird thing, you know, Apple does this thing where they, they say, okay, well, it's only this amount of money and you get this, this, and this. But if you just spend a little bit more, you can have this, you know, almost like Carol Merrill from the old Let's Make a Deal show, you know, <laughs> show them what's in door number one. Isn't that great? And you can have that. Or you can have what's behind the secret box in door number two. But I mean, re regardless, the fact that, that the individual plan and the family plan, uh, the, the big difference between them is uh, how much storage you get in iCloud and uh, how many people you can share this with. And that was the part to me that was the, the real, real big kicker with this, with these bundles is not only are you bundling these services together and maybe getting a service that you didn't expect to have or didn't use before at a cheaper price? But now with the family and premier plans, you can share all these services with your kids, with your, you know, who el whoever else in your family that you want to share these with. And if you go to the premier one, because I'm spending right now, because I've got music, I've got Apple TV, I've got Arcade, and I've got the two terabyte iCloud subscription and i'm spending about 30 dollars a month in apple services so now for that same 30 dollars a month i also get news plus which you know it, it was one of those things where i i don't want to spend more money on it but if, if it's going to be included in a bundle then sure you know i'll, I'll spend more time with it right. and the new fitness app fitness plus and we'll see we'll see what that looks like going forward off of that same 30 dollars no, it's, it's so what service, uh, Warren, what services do you have? So, yeah, I did the math too, and I'm pretty much like you right now. I'm paying, came to like $32 and change for what I got. So, you know, we have a uh, family on music, news plus, we're still getting the free Apple TV, uh, until November. Um, 200. Right, that's what, that's what, 699? Five bucks, four ninety nine. Okay, four ninety nine. And then I got um two hundred gig iCloud, and um, and that's it. So I, if I added that up, it came to like thirty two bucks. Okay. Uh, no brainer. So for three dollars cheaper, I get pretty much the same thing that I have, in, and I get uh, TV uh, Plus going forward with the uh, without having you know without the free version. I right. get the and more storage too. Well, the, the more storage is what I'm excited about because I was basically almost there. Um, I was hit, you know, I was hit to the, the point limit. where I was at the limit and I was getting a little nervous because, you know, there's, you know, there's no 400 plan or 500 plan. You, know, you have to yeah, go You either go from 200 gig to two terabytes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank so that, you, Apple. Exactly. So the, the two terabyte plan is, is what seals the deal for me. I mean, that. I could totally deal without arcade. I could totally deal without um, the fitness. I mean, look at us. I mean, we don't need that. Um, hey, I'm only 25, so you know. There you go. Uh, but the you know, uh, hey, the family arcade that'd be cool for you know three dollars cheaper than what we're paying. Yeah, just start um, playing. You don't know Jack. If you ever played that before, that's always fun. That is fun. So if there's, a, I mean, if they had a family plan like the 1995. Uh, $19.95 that had 
the news plus added to that for an extra like five bucks for like 25 bucks that would be the perfect one but they don't so um you know so whatever it's it's, okay. it's a good deal yeah All right dave yeah i i have I did the kind of the math too. Is I have mu- Apple Music and I pay the yearly plan, which is ninety nine dollars. So um, that's that comes out to about eight dollars twenty five cents a month if you divide it out. Um, I've got uh, I am pay- I am currently uh, paying for News Plus. That's ten dollars. Uh, iCloud I've got um, the two hundred gig plan and uh, you know, that's another three dollars. And then of course we'll have f- uh, five bucks for the TV app. So it adds up about the same. And then plus you're getting the two extras. I don't care about arcade. I tried it. I'm not a gamer. Um, and then Fitness Plus, again, yeah, like Warren says, yeah, <laughs> are, are we going to be working out? But who knows? It might mo- it might motivate me to, to, to do something uh, to, to by by u- utilizing the fitness stuff. So, uh, but I, I think this was a, this was a great. I, I think it's a decent bundle. Now, if you the only thing the other thing too is with the individuals and the families. If you decide, hey, you want to upgrade your iCloud, let's say you go with the individual, which is 50 gigs, and you decide you want to upgrade it to 200 gigs, you can do that, and you just pay the extra the the, the, the difference. I think was it from ninety nine cents to to two ninety nine uh, to go to two. Yeah, well, it's like, and it's five bucks more a month to do that. Yeah, so you can't. They they are allowing the the the, the change in the upgrades with the, on the lower tier plans on iCloud. So, but I agree with Warren. I, I think the family plan would be a lot sweet, a little bit a little bit of a sweeter spot if I, if they could at least include a News Plus uh, in the family plan and you know pay a couple extra bucks, um, you know save a few dollars. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Um, well, that's going to about do it for tonight. Is there anything else that uh, that you guys wanted to talk about? No. Or are we good? Uh, a lot going on. Yeah, a lot going on. Um, the only thing I'll mention that we didn't mention here is um, the if you have uh, AirPods Pro and the Beats oh, yeah, yeah. Pro. Yeah. Um, the iOS the 14. firmware update. Yeah, there's a firmware update, but if you have those models, it has uh, something called spatial audio. Yeah, I gotta uh, try that. I gotta try that. As soon as which is it sounds so cool. It is super super cool. Um, actually, if the the um, on Apple TV, if you watch the the keynote with it, it used a spatial audio. Oh, did it? It? <laughs> it totally did. That's funny. That is funny. And it's kind of just really weird. Like if you turn your head, it it moves. The sound with you and the phone uh, moves the sound if you move your phone around. And there actually sounds like at, at some point that you're not even wearing the earphones. Like you actually think the, the sound is coming directly from the phone. And you're like, oh, God, I don't have, you know, it's like my earphones aren't working. And my, 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 you know, my, my phone's, you know, making a noise. And it's totally not. It's like, it's, it's like really deceiving, but it's really cool. I mean, it's just, it's, it's trippy. So I, I think I, um, I got to try that. Yeah so, you know. yeah. so the Apple TV update will let that happen too. So that's going to be an experience too. So I'm going to try that too, but it's, it's audio. It was spatial audio. So it, it's just really, it, it makes the, it what, makes what, it, are they, what are those things going for now? Are they still two forty nine? I've They're seen them on sale for 200 for a lot of yeah. times. But, yeah. Cause I'm, I mean, these are the, these are the first gen right. AirPods. Yeah. And depending depending on what I hear about spatial spatial audio, because um, I, I told you guys about about experiencing that down at um, Disney World when I was, mm-hmm. you know, when, when my wife and I went down there one time, and it was it was kind of amazing wearing those headphones and hearing sound coming f- at you from different directions. That's crazy. And that was that was thirty years ago. Well, not thirty because it was my wife and I. Uh, well, yeah. Maybe, could have been 30 years ago. 40. Um, 40. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> um, so de- depending on what the price of that is and, and what other stuff I may or may not need to buy, like um, microphones, um, I would consider getting getting AirPod Pros. We'll, yeah. see. we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I, I'm, I'm loving them. So tell me something, Mr. Dave. If people wanted to get a hold of you, how would they do it? They would do it by going to InTouch with iOS at, at InTouchWithIOS.com. Uh, as I mentioned, we recorded the Reaction Time episode, so if you wanted to hear us, uh, it was a special episode uh, from yesterday yeah. with uh, Mike Potter, uh, Chuck Joyner, and uh, uh, Gazmas. Uh, Gazmas with us as well. We had a great time. Take a listen to that episode. 
And then we're going to I know him from somewhere. Episode. Yeah, you do. My Mac. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and we're going to record another episode tomorrow with uh, Adam Christensen as our guest, and uh, we're talking a lot more about this event because there was just like everybody want to get everybody's re- uh, review of uh, what was talked about as well as uh, what to expect and a lot of discussion about iOS 14 and I- iPad OS 14. There's a lot to talk about the next uh, few weeks here. So, but uh, check it out. And then you also can find me on Twitter at Dave G 65. Okay. Warren. Yeah. I'll be at the uh, Tesla dealer tomorrow at 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to get a hold of me, my email address is guy at mymac.com. You can find me on the Twitters. I am Mac parrot and I'm also <laughs> Vert shark uh, over there on the Twitters. If you go, if you go over to vertshark.com, you will find all of my stuffs for audios and the videos. Uh, Vert Shark over there on the YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and watch or listen to any of this, make sure you like, share, subscribe. And if you missed that the first time, it's like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell, <laughs> just like all those kids tell you to do. Um, smash that bell. I also do the mymac.com podcast uh, almost every single weekend with uh, the aforementioned Gazmaz, as well as Guy's Daily Drive, which for some stupid reason I do while driving in my car. Uh, I actually have two episodes I need to edit and and get posted, and I will probably do all of those things tomorrow since I'm working from home. Uh, What else? If you'd like to support my my ever-increasing and increasingly sad microphone habit, all you have to do is go on over to, oh, what is it? Patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can go over to coffee, ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot or paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. You can make, that's all the different ways that you can support me and uh, StreamYard, which is what I'm using, as well as my website and, and everything else, as well as microphones. Uh, I really, really would appreciate any help that you guys could give me because God knows I do need help. So I think that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you all so very, very much for joining us tonight on the Mac to the Future Go livecast. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Warren. And uh, anything else before we go here? Goodbye. Yeah, we're going to go. See y'all.